A new study published in ophthalmology has looked into the effects of drinking alcohol on the requirement for cataract surgery. To find out more, I spoke with the authors. And what we found is that people who drink alcohol are at around a 10% reduced chance of uh, future cataract surgery compared to non-drinkers. And among drinkers, within the range of uh, UK intake guidance, we found that progressively drinking more pro was progressively associated with a reduced chance of future cataract surgery. We found that um, there was a reduced risk in cataract surgery across all the types of um, different types of alcohol beverages. But I think the strongest uh, protective association was actually observed for wine drinkers. Why do you think wine could be protective? Cataract itself, one of the main mechanisms is due to oxidative stress. What we found out was in our study, wine drinkers in particular, they seem to have a protective association. And one of the reasons could be because antioxidants have very high content in wine itself. Um, so that could be one of the reasons why um, we found a more protective association in wine drinkers. This research relied on data from over 490,000 people in the well-established UK Biobank and Epic Norfolk cohort studies. They asked quite detailed questions about alcohol. The great thing is that they also did break it down by type of alcohol, red wine, white wine, spirits, beer. And, and when we did look at that, we did find that the majority, a, a, a larger part of the effect we were seeing was driven by red wine drinkers. What was the reduction in cataract surgery? First, we compared drinkers to non-drinkers. And when, when you just do it in, in that way, uh, on average, the drinkers had a 10% re uh, reduced chance of going on to have cataract surgery than the um, non-drinkers. Now, sometimes non-drinkers might be unusual in, in, in other ways. It might be that they're sick, for example, and they've decided to stop drinking. So then separately, we, ju we put aside people who didn't drink alcohol and looked just amongst drinkers and looked at those who drank the least compared to gradually drinking more and more alcohol, the so-called dose-response effect. And what we kind of found is, it's again, around 10%. So the people who drank within that small, um, small amount to moderate amount range, within roughly the UK uh, alcohol intake guidance, those who drank more were around 10% uh, reduced risk compared to those who drank less. Now, looking specifically at red wine drinkers, that, that increased to around 14%. So have you found a causal link between wine and cataract surgery rates? We cannot prove cause and effect from, from this type of study. The fact that we measured alcohol intake before the development of cataract and the fact that the, we, we were seeing this dose response those two things increase the likelihood that it really is a cause and effect, but it, it, it doesn't without doubt prove it. So you aren't saying we should all start drinking? Oh, no, yeah, de definitely not. <laughs> we're not. We're not calling out for um, everyone to start drinking wine now. Um, I think what um, our study shows is that there's a possible association, and we think that um, people should definitely drink um, within the guidelines itself. And if, let's say, any low or moderate alcohol um, intake may... Um, help to reduce the risk, but definitely not to start increasing um, the, um, the, the, the levels of alcohol intake. What I think we can say in this study is drinking within the UK guidelines for, for alcohol intake certainly doesn't seem to have an adverse effect on the development of cataract and may even have uh, a beneficial effect.